Hey guys, so I'm 38 weeks and 6 days pregnant today. And obviously that means I haven't had the baby yet, which really sucks because I was sure she would be here days ago, but she's not, so still waiting. Symptoms this week, I've been using the bathroom all the time. Like, I might as well just move in there because I'm constantly using the bathroom. I had lots of pressure in my pelvis and I'm not going to lie, it's been hurting a lot. Um, we, me and my boyfriend went to go and get groceries the other day and as soon as we were leaving, that's when it hit me. And as soon as I feel that, I have to sit. It hurts so bad. At the same time though, whenever I do go out for walks, it feels like it's doing something good. So I have to put up with the pain just so that I know I'm progressing somewhat. And I can't fall asleep at all. Even when I'm really tired, it takes me at least an hour to fall asleep. Then when I do fall asleep, I'm up every hour using the bathroom. So yeah, that's not any fun. I had a doctor appointment last Friday, and everything went really good. I don't have any weight gain at all. He checked my lower stomach, and he said that the baby's now engaged into the pelvis. So... That explains why I've been feeling all the pressure and the pains. And I actually asked him if he had a rough idea of how big she would be. He guesses that she won't be any more than 8 pounds, so 7 to 8 pounds he said. Probably just an average size baby, which I don't mind. I told him I didn't want to have a 10 pound baby and he says he doesn't think that'll happen, so keep your fingers crossed for me that it doesn't. <laughs> So besides that, nothing's really much been going on. I've been trying to jumpstart labor as much as I can. I've been walking. I've eaten pineapple and kiwi, bumpy car rides, pretty much everything. And nothing's happened so far. So I think I'm just going to relax and let her figure out when she wants to be born. Um... Because, yeah, I can't stress out over it. It's driving me crazy. The only thing I haven't tried is being intimate. And probably that'll be the one thing that starts it. But at this point, it's just so uncomfortable. I'd rather not even try. <laughs> I do have some exciting news, though. My boyfriend, well, fiancé, now I guess, um, his divorce was finalized. And I've been with him for four years. And I guess before, it just didn't really matter, like... I didn't care that we weren't married and that he was legally married and he didn't really either but since we are having the baby we do want to get married at some point <laughs> so his divorce was finalized I think a week ago or so and that's cool because now I get to start thinking about wedding plans and things like that even though it probably won't happen for a while because I'd like to get through having the baby first but yeah that's really exciting so I can't wait to start planning all that stuff that's another symptom I've been having I've been really out of breath like right now I can't even catch my breath <laughs> but um yeah I'm guessing it's just from all of my organs being all squished and her not having any room and my lungs not having any room and I'm gonna give a shout out to my friend Melanie um, she has a channel on here, and she does like gluten-free recipes and cake recipes and just fun little videos and things like that. And she has the cutest little boy Tyson, so if you guys would be so nice as to go and subscribe to her and check out her videos and leave her comments and just give her love. And she's such a sweetheart. I'll put her link down below, and her username is Melanie Lee 86 I'll show you guys my belly and I'll talk to you maybe for week 39. I'm hoping that I don't because I'm getting tired of this and I really want to meet her. Um, but if you don't see a video from me in the next week or so, that definitely means that I've had her. And I just want to thank everybody for all your sweet comments and messages and just your love and support. It's been amazing. After she's born, um, 
So yeah, wish me luck that she decides to come really soon. And I have a few stretch marks coming in on the side.